Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Gravity. <laughs> I said it like that to create suspense. <laughs> Obviously not as much as the film, but you know, Gravity. So this film has been talked about for a long old time. I didn't get to see it in the cinema, but I finally got to see it on Blu-ray. Uh, my my parents bought the Blu-ray, and actually, well, actually, my mum bought the Blu-ray, and surprisingly, my dad bought the DVD. So I've got two copies of this film in my house. So, yeah, um, this is directed by Alfonso Cuaron, who is known for directing Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban, The Little Princess, a couple of other things which I haven't seen. Uh, this film stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Uh, so the story is that basically. The uh, space shuttle is destroyed, and Dr. Rhinestone and Matt Kowalski are sort of forced to escape, uh, basically go on like a spacewalk and try and escape the disaster. They have to try, and basically, yeah, it's basically in sort of an escape, with escape, you know, mission, with not much oxygen left. They have little time, they have to get to the sort of um, the escape pods, but you know, before time runs out, you know, it's a very simple plot, you know, there's not much, there's no point even explaining it, it's a simple plot. Um, and surprisingly, this film is 91 minutes long, uh, which um, is really good, which is impressive. Um, it's amazing how great this, this film has managed to cram all its stuff into 90 minutes. Um, this film is really good, I really liked it. I, I kind of wish that I'd seen it in the cinema now because I, I believe that this, this is one of those films that kind of needs to be seen in cinemas. You know, I mean, it's still, it was still great on Blu-ray, but, you know, for, um, for when it came out, I really wish I'd seen it in the cinema. I would have even loved to have seen it in IMAX, but I don't really see films in IMAX. I mean, as much as I'd like to, it's just kind of expensive, isn't it? I mean, gravity, what can I say? I was impressed. I was impressed. And I can see why it won the Oscars, and I think it deserves the Oscars. The directing is very good. Alfonso Cuaron understands how to create suspense, tension, and, you know, downright just, you know, thrill. You know, th th there are thrilling scenes in this film. Like, there's a lot of um, disaster. I guess you could kind of call gravity a disaster film. Um, kind of like a sci-fi slash disaster film. I don't know. That's kind of what I've seen it as, or like a th a thriller, um, <clears throat> but in space. Um, um, yeah. I, so Alfonso Cuarón, fantastic directing, deserved the Oscar. One minute. Sorry, I just uh, closed my door because it just swung open. Um, yeah. I really like. I mean. I love the visuals. The visuals are just stunning. These are like the best, you know, the, the cinematography is just superb. The best visuals in a film since probably Avatar. And that came out about, what, f four years ago? Five years ago now? Yeah. That's, blimey. Avatar came out nearly five years ago. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Gravity has amazing visuals, Oscar winning visuals, you know. Superb visuals, and you know, it was really immersive. And even George Clooney, even the characters in the film, George Clooney says, "It's beautiful, don't you think?" And you know what? He's right. Um, I, I, I think that the story is pretty basic, but it works. It could come across as being kind of a bit lacklustre of a story, but it actually, it, it surprisingly, it works for this film. It works. Um, the acting. Uh, George Clooney is okay. He's just sort of playing himself as always. I mean, I have no complaints with him. I mean, 
I think he, yeah, he's, he's pretty all right. He's just sort of doing the same thing. Sandra Bullock, obviously, is the standout performance of the film because she takes up most of the screen time. I mean, there's not a big cast. There's only what, two, three people. I think there's a, there's another guy at the beginning, but uh, it doesn't have much screen time. It's mainly George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Sandra Bullock is great. Uh, as Dr. Ryan Stone, I believe the character's called. Um, overall, there's not much to say about Gravity. It was intense, it was suspenseful, it had me hooked. I mean, the trailer just sort of looked like, oh, okay, movie in space. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really show much. I mean, the trailer didn't really justify this film. And in a way, that's kind of good, because I was surprised. I thought, for the concept, it could be seen it could, it could not, it might not work. I mean, in terms of the concept, it potentially it might not have worked. But you know what? It it was great, and you know, ten. It says on the back, ten Oscar nominations, and eleven BAFTA nominations. You can see it there. Um. I mean, wow. I mean, I think it won about six or seven Oscars. Yeah, and quite a few BAFTAs as well. It's a great film. I mean, it's surprisingly good. I mean. I was really surprised, and I'll probably end up watching it again at some point. It's probably one of the best films of last year. I wish I'd seen it last year because um, oh, I would have, I would have loved to have seen it last year. I'd, oh, I just it would have been fantastic to see it on the big screen. It's one of these movies that is made for the big screen, and also, you know, these are the type of movies that Blu-ray is made for. You know. You don't buy Blu-rays to watch comedy films, you know, you buy Blu-rays to watch these sort of films, you know, thrillers, you know, action, thrillers, suspense, disasters, those type of th things. I mean, Gravity is that, you know, it's a suspenseful, essentially it is a disaster film, uh, done in 90 minutes, which is very, which is very impressive. I mean, the runtime is perfect, the pacing is perfect. Ultimately, it's perfect, flawless. Actually, my one complaint really is that the character of uh, Matt, I think, played by George Clooney, his character wasn't really developed. It was more about Ryan Stone. I mean, Ryan Stone was a great character, but you know they didn't. George Clooney's character was just kind of there, and then he was just kind of helping alongside. They could have given him a bit of development. That was my only criticism. And the other guy, the third guy, he didn't get much to do. So, apart from those two flaws, you know, in terms of certain, you know, it's like a couple of the characters needed to be used a bit more. Um, but apart from that, this is a flawless film. This is great, you know. Um, so, minus my couple of gripes about some of the characters, I think... Gravity deserves to get... 9 out of 10. I say 9 because I've a couple of issues with a couple of the characters, but it was really good. It was really, really good. And I'll probably watch it again at some point. Uh, I don't know when. I just wanted to review this. I just thought, it's just come out on Blu-ray. My parents just watched it yesterday, so I thought, I need to watch it. And, you know, here it is. My, my review of Gravity. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... And I would definitely recommend this film. This is probably one of Alfonso Cuaron's best films. You know, it it turned out surprisingly amazing. I mean, considering the concept is very basic, uh, <laughs> it could have it could have been rubbish, but it was actually really good. It was, it was surprisingly good. I was blown away. What can I say? Thanks all for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Tardis Eleven. See ya.